Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I am going to do a full face of drugstore products. Okay, for my foundation, I am going to use the L'Oreal True Match and mine is in 4D slash 4W. I hope this is not too dark for me now. No, it shouldn't. I still have some fake tan on. Um, I really, really like this um, foundation. Haven't used it for a while. I think I used to apply it with a sponge. This is a new sponge. It feels quite nice. It's from BH Cosmetics. So let's have a look. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, I also love the Milani, is it three in one or four in one? I've done my brows because I use obviously Charlotte Tilbury legendary brow and that's not drugstore. And I also use the Benefit 24 hour setting brow setter, which is not drugstore, but I use drugstore brow pencils. I have um, HD, BH Cosmetics HD brow pencil in medium. And I also use the e.l.f. Precision, the really skinny one in top. So I do, gosh, I forgot how beautiful this foundation is. I love it. Now for concealer, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And this one is 130 Light Beige. Very nice concealer. And the color. I would say that if you like NARS Custard, this is a very, very similar color. I think I have quite a lot of, well, quite a few Milani products. I do like Milani. Okay, let's take it's a really really pretty concealer it's got nice coverage but it feels very creamy Okay, to set under my eyes, again, I have a Milani Translucent Banana Powder, which is 03. I'm going to take Wayne Goss O2 brush. I use this one every day for setting under my eyes. Very pretty. Now to set the rest of my face, as you know, I always use mineral powder foundation and I use Laura Mercier. As we know, it has been discontinued. I have few backups, but I've been trying to find something to eventually replace it. So I've ordered the EX1 you remember they did foundation as well pure crushed minerals and this one is in number four but it is a bit too light that would be good for me for winter but i also have which i bought ages ago and forgot all about it english mineral makeup company and this one is in warm medium i don't think this would be considered a, as drugstore i can't remember how much that is but it is not drugstore price. 
whereas this is I think this is 13 pounds so what I've been doing I've been mixing these two together to get the color and I've been really enjoying it so I put it in in a, a lid of that one and it looks really nice so hopefully this might replace my Laura Mercier eventually wow that foundation looks so good I normally use this brush for mineral foundation foundation <laughs> foundation this is the Real Techniques 300 I can't remember what this collection was called but I'm not sure you can still get them I have a couple of them and I really like them because they are not too dense you know the denser the brush the more coverage you get and um, because I'm using it more as a setting powder you need more fluffy brush so you don't get as much coverage and I just buff it in remember with mineral foundation do it gently don't like scrub it in <laughs> but with mineral foundation the more you buff the nicer it is i am so sorry if you can hear now and again my washing machine that is so bad of me that i've started filming while i'm doing my washing okay so i've buffed it in i don't go under my eyes because i've already set it and I tell you, this looks really nice. So I'm very optimistic. I'm not as upset because I've been thinking, what am I going to do when I've run out of all my Laura Mercier mineral powders? Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to use Milani again. And this is Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in 02. This one is really nice. It's quite cool. So very nice for contouring. I'm going to use Rifa 05 brush for this. And I go quite high up on my cheekbones. You know, they say you should go under your cheekbone, but because you know, at my age you start sagging. If I go under my cheekbone, my bronzer will be really um, low so I go almost on the top of my cheekbone but only to about the tail of my brow and I feel that sort of lifts your face a bit uh, for blush I'm going to use next next sweet cheeks glow blush in daydream you know how much i love this brush i've got i've got another one that is milani that um it's very pretty but it's a bit too pink i want it to be a bit more coral which this one sort of is and remember how i started to apply my bra blush right here at the front and quite high up because i feel that lifts your cheeks and gives you that useful look i love this blush as well because it's got this sheen i've been obsessed with blushes like like that one that's why i also love them beauty bakery uh, the palette with four blushes absolutely love that it gives me that lovely sheen i don't need to use um highlighter I'm going to spray it all with the Morphe setting spray. And we will move on to eyes. I have bought another BH Cosmetics palette, you know the one Love in London, it's so amazing. So I got another one which is called Beautiful in Barcelona. Um, I feel it's a lovely fall palette because it's got much darker color, but I love this apricot eyeshadow. 
So today, I think I'm going just to use three eyeshadows. I'm going to use this one. What is that one? Carnation. So that's Carnation. That's Familia. And I think I use Exquisite in my corner. It's such a, such a pretty apricot look quite warm because I've, I've lately I've done few cool looks so I thought I go back a bit to, to more of the warm looks. So on every 15 I'm going to go into carnation, tap it all off really well and I'm going to apply it right above my crease. Do you know what? Do you know what? I feel like the last Botox that I've had has lifted my eyes a bit. Can you see? You can actually see a bit more of my mobile lid. Normally when I drop my eyebrows, my lids would be really sitting on my eyelashes, but I feel like this has lifted it a bit because I've had the Botox here, so I can't bring my eyes down and I had it here and I feel like this lifts my eyes a bit so I'm very happy with that okay so I am going to put it in my crease and blending it out upwards and I'm going here as well on my outer seven beautiful color blends really well okay now on Mac 217 I am going to go to this beautiful apricot familia and I'm going to apply it on my mobile lid sort of in like pressing motions not right into the corner because I'm going to apply something else right there this is such a beautiful color it's just gorgeous and the quality of these eyeshadows is amazing now on Hulu DS10 I am going to go to the exquisite And I'm going to apply it right in my inner corner. Then, now I'm going to go back to Familia, the apricot one, and I'm going to do it with my finger, although it gives you a beautiful look without using your finger but that is going to really pop it. I am going to put it right in the middle of my eyelid just to give it this real pop. Such a beautiful color. Again, a carnation. I am going to start working on my outer V a bit to darken it and I will do that actually I haven't used this one for a very long time the uh, shading brush from Real Techniques is angled so it's really good to work in this corner Well, it's not really a corner, is it? It's an outer seven. And if you're new to my channel and you wonder what the hell is outer seven, you need to check out my hooded eye tips and tricks playlist. I will link it at the end of this video and you can find out what outer seven is. I'm going to go back to Rifa 15 and just blend the edges of that. Now 
now I'm going to take Sonia G Pencil Pro going into the carnation and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. When I apply it on a lower lash line, I sort of extend it and try to connect it with the top and then blend it out. Then I'm going to go back to the exquisite and pop it just here. Again, go back to the 15 and blend everything upwards. And that's the eyeshadow done. Now I've got here Wet n Wild, what is it called? Breakout, breakup proof, waterproof, re retractable eyeliner in black. And as usual, Normally what I put with this look is Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliner in Pillow Talk. It's a beautiful chestnutty colour. It goes so nicely, but we're doing we are doing drugstore. I love this look. It's just such a sunset, beautiful look for summer. I don't know, it doesn't mind you, it's almost Halloween. It's a pumpkin look. Yes, that could be a pumpkin look. I might put a tiny bit of it just here in the corner. I need to smudge it. I've got this um, old pencil here that has a smudger on the end. Now for mascara, I'm going to use NYX On The Rise. I haven't used this mascara for ages, but I quite like the brush, so let's have a look. Oh yes. Very nice. It's one of those, you know, that brushes your lashes really nicely and then with a bit of building up, gives you the volume as well. Okay, I never know what to do with my lips. So I have drugstore lipsticks, but not in that tone. I feel like I need something peachy, but those colors don't really suit me. So I thought maybe if I go like a nude beige color. Uh, so I am going to use the NYX matte lip liner in Los Angeles. You know how much I love this liner. It's a bit of a cooler brown, but we will make it work. I just don't look good in warm lipsticks. Make it a bit thicker. And blend it a bit and I've got here body shop lipstick and this is color crush I think and is in number 350 I am not sure if they still sell them but it's a lovely lovely lipstick it's very shiny I wouldn't say it's a perfect match for this makeup, but it will do. 
I might put a bit of uh, Kiko gloss on it and this is the 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in number 18. I have glosses that would go with it but they are not drugstore. Okay and that's the finished look. I really like it and I forgot how much I love this foundation. Okay my lovely so this was my full face of drugstore products. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. I always forget about that. Um, I think it's quite important, but I never take any notice of the thumbs up and thumbs down. But if you could, that would be appreciated. Um, watch the videos that I'm going to leave here at the end. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.